Hey, good morning. It's October 21st, 2022. This is West Fryer at Camp Weaver just outside Greensboro, North Carolina. Uh, we have just had breakfast and are preparing for our last morning of activities. And I wanted to share the five rules, the five hand rules of low ropes that G Bear, who is the camp director here, showed us. Um, I actually, with the rotation of the kids the last couple days, we've been at a, an overnight camp with our seventh graders. Uh, he actually shared this with us twice, so I'm going to see if I can recreate this. So this was what we used for low ropes to talk about expectations, but also on the reflective piece at the backside of each of the three different activities that the kids did. So these are the rules. Number one, they're for each digit of our hand. What is this for? This is for positivity, positive attitude. Uh, we're going to encourage each other. We're going to make sure that uh, we're staying positive because even though we'll get frustrated, you know, and this is not just true for low ropes activities, this is true for life. Things are different when we're positive. And so we want to stay positive. We want to avoid real negative thoughts. And um, that's going to be something we're, we'll keep in mind at all times. Okay, second one, the finger. Okay, what is this? This is pointing. This is blaming. <clears throat> we're not going to point. We're not going to blame. Uh, G Bear pointed out that when we're pointing at someone else, we have three other fingers that are coming back to us. So what we want to do instead of blaming somebody else when something doesn't go right is ask, what could I have done differently? Could I have been more encouraging? Could I have coached more? Could I have physically helped more? Um, what could I have done? Could I have listened to somebody else's ideas? Lots of things that we can do we don't want to blame. Now, we don't put up the, the middle finger. As he said, we all know what that means. That's disrespect. That's rudeness, and there's no point in that. So we're not gonna be rude, we're not going to disrespect, uh, we're gonna keep that in mind. The ring finger, and I didn't actually wear my rings uh, on this trip just because we're going camping, but this is the commitment ring, or this is a commitment finger, okay? This is the reminder about being committed to the group. He said, even if this isn't your favorite activity, this might be someone else's favorite activity, and we wanna be committed to our team, committed to our group to give our best effort. Even if it's not our favorite thing, we're gonna be committed. And then the last one, the pinky, <clears throat> he said, uh, is a reminder to us that everybody in the team's contribution is important and is needed. You know, he pointed out that if we're going to grip and we don't have a pinky, our grip isn't as strong. And so by itself, the pinky might not do a whole lot, but together, the pinky makes the grip stronger. It makes our hand more capable, more powerful, and it's a vital part of the team. So those were the five different rules, the five hand rules, I guess, of the low ropes here at Camp Weaver. And I thought those were awesome. And that's, those are good things to keep in mind for just about any activity we're doing. And as a middle school media literacy and robotics teacher, I'm gonna keep that in mind with my students. I'm probably gonna take that back to my classroom. Thank you, G-Bear. Thank you, Camp Weaver staff for a great week and some great tips on how we can be collaborative, positive, and grow in our teamwork skills, both here at camp and back in our regular lives away from this wonderful place.